Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, welcome back. And today we are answering your questions and we're bringing you a little information on something that we haven't touched upon before. Today we are explaining to you guys what is a stage one remap. But I mean, you've already done a stage one remap. I hope they've seen that. Yeah. So if you haven't, you better check out that video so you understand why we are doing this video and what that is about. But don't worry, we will explain everything in this video because we want to clarify some people's doubts. You know, this whole world of tuning was so, so vast that even before we wrapped our heads around it, it was really interesting to see what everybody perceives it. And after seeing the amount of people talking about it, I think we've got a fair share of information that we can bring to you all today. Yeah, definitely. And of course, there are experts out there who know much more than us, but it's important that we also share some information with you guys because we've done it and we've yeah. gone through it and definitely we want to do much more to the cars. So if you all are new into the stage of tuning, please don't worry. I hope, I hope this video will bring a little more information to you all. And if you all are experts, uh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I think they, they, they won't be watching this one. Yeah, experts. experts won't be watching this video. So. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so basically this video is about explaining what you can do to your car. And of course we'll be concentrating on one type of, or one segment of cars, which is a turbocharged engine because most of the manufacturers bring turbocharged engines to the market nowadays so yeah so i think let's not waste any more time let's get down to it so first we, we are going to explain to you the basic world of tuning what you can do to your car what is possible what is a stage yeah i think i think this the word stage has so many different aspects to it it's it's a little confusing when you first try to understand it but the basic concept of stages is to help somebody understand the amount of power you're unlocking with those set of changes. So basically it's, I guess it's a relative term because a lot of people talk as stage one, stage two, stage three, and I mean, it differs for a naturally aspirated engine, it differs for a turbocharged engine. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna first explain what the stages are, and then today we are gonna concentrate on just stage one, because we thought we should answer that question first. Of course, it's a vast world and a lot of details, but we won't bore you with the extreme technical information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that will be a little boring. Yeah. So first thing that we need to talk about is tuning. What is tuning? Yeah, I think the whole idea of tuning is to get a little better performance out of your car. It depends what you're trying to achieve. The whole point to modify your car is either you want more horsepower, either you want to look at a better fuel efficiency, or if there are there are different parameters out there which people are modifying for. Now, it depends on that. So first, ideally, let's look at a basic concept of people wanting more power in their car. So basically stage, so stage one, two, three, four, let's go. Stage one. So stage one is a, the first step to tuning. You can do an ECU remap. You can do an intake, a cold air, cold air intake, and uh, also you can do an exhaust. So a cat bag exhaust. So basically, I think what a stage one is is something that's instantly doable. It does not take a lot of effort. Does not necessarily take a lot of finances also, but. It's a bolt-on bolt-off kind of system. Yeah. So it's something that you can just go, fix up and then leave. A stage 1 ECU remap literally takes half an hour. Literally. Yeah, I know, I know. And, and in fact, it, it, it shows you results instantly because that is the first, it, you're just tweaking a few software parts of your car and it's showing your results instantly. What in sense you would, if you were swapping parts or something, you would have to do a lot more to see those results. To, to give a rough example, I think your stage 1 allows you uh, a bump in 10 to 20 percent of your power than your yeah. stock stage two three four then further unlocks another 10 20 percent and it is important to note that you're doing so much to this car that this car is not designed for that so you need to be sure of what you're doing and upgrade everything in tandem so that the whole car is in one piece by the end of it <laughs> and you don't blow up the engine because I mean, it's very much possible I mean, by, by stage four i would consider for myself personally i would remove the back seats i would put like a roll cage and all just to make it a little sturdier safety. and safer safety. just say it's, it's so important. safety is important but today now i think we should get down to what stage one is stage one so right now we would just like to stick and explain stage one a little more in detail so you understand what we've done and what we may do in the future yeah yeah, yeah. what is stage one a little more in detail i know we've explained quite a bit already yeah i think we bombarded the information like back 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 but stage one is basically what we already said just a little repetition it's an ecu remap a basic intake upgrade and a basic exhaust upgrade but it's not necessary to go for the intake Definitely. and the exhaust you can also make do with just just the remap. the remap which actually in fact is my car right now yeah so it's just an ecu remap and it's pretty good actually I'm although you must consider an exhaust also it, it will sound better i don't know <laughs> maybe 
<laughs> Let's see. Anyway, so basically there are about three directions in which you can go in, in terms of uh, a remap. First one is a basic remap where you replace the stock map and you put aftermarket remap. Yeah, yeah basically an aftermarket remap. Aftermarket fuel map. So you're, your you're kind of tracing it over your original yeah. map. And you can always save your original map to always bring it back to stock. It's possible. And there are multiple options in the market right now when it comes to this. Oh yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, there are quite a few well-known uh, Chips in the market. Yeah. I mean, just to throw a few names: there's Revo, there's E Tuner, there's Super Chips, and there's uh, APR. I mean, the list just goes on and on. These are just to name a few. There are a lot more local maps also that are coming yeah. through. You know, these definitely. Days in the and there are a lot of local guys within our country in India that do maps. So and it's I think, interesting. I think the whole point of there are so many maps is it's like it's what do you want to customize the the basic uh, motto of these maps are some are more fuel efficiency oriented some are more performance oriented so each map allows you to tweak some aspects much better than the others so in a stage one remap generally general the main three things that they tweak is your boost pressure if it's a turbocharged engine so the turbo pressure secondly the fuel map so at each rpm they decide how much fuel or what the fuel to air ratio is yeah that's what yeah. is decided and the third also, ignition yeah so the timing as well yeah so the fuel timing ignition timing etc so these are the main things that they play around with. i think so what the whole idea of a stage one a remap is also not just to push power for you but also to make your power deliverably much more refined over a curve so your curve could probably look a little more rough and sharp like this and once you tune your car it could possibly get a little more refined and then look like this so there are performance maps and there are efficiency maps as well so you can decide what direction you would like to go in some people detune their cars some people increase the performance so it's a lot of options you have yeah that uh, it's completely on what yeah. eventually and uh, uh, we've said this a million times but what do you want out of your yeah. car and of course then your other options are your intake upgrade and exhaust upgrade so generally in a stage one people do a cat pack that is behind the catalytic converter and also your intake so you can get a cold air intake or you can just just change the filter itself your stock intake yeah. and you just change the filter i think i think you can order it somewhere off of amazon also they're, they're quite uh, some well available yeah, some i mean but it's rather you better talk to some person some who knows a little more about it and help you figure out which intake is better for you but i think what stage one allows uh for any person who wants to just start modifying and get into the world of it, it is not that heavy on your pocket for a yeah. first little bump in your performance. So, and we've also been seeing, I think we've also spoken to quite a few people who've done this on like their Skodas or they've done it on their Volkswagens or something. And it, we've seen a lot of more people getting more interested in yeah. this and yeah. get instant results. Currently, it's the easiest way to get more performance out of your car. So I think it's pretty interesting and I think that's about it. Yeah, uh, but I I hope I hope we answered quite a few doubts for y'all about uh, just tuning in general. But if y'all do have more specific questions, please do feel free to drop your comments down below or hit us up on Instagram and DM. And if you aren't following our channel, please do subscribe, hit the bell icon, and do check out our Instagram page as well. Yeah. That's about it. So thank you for joining us. This was a little informative video compared to our action-packed videos <laughs> of the past. So yeah, thank you. Cheers and see you in the next one.